I made the first scrap wood furniture in 1989. Just before I got my degree, I had to renovate a cupboard for my sister of old wood, so I needed old wood. And in Holland we have a tradition of recycling and have huge places where all the old wood is stacked. And I thought, this is so beautiful. I start puzzling and piling up little pieces of wood. And that was totally new. Uh, nobody ever used scrap wood for domestic purposes. The first thing I made was the scrap wood cupboard. Since then, we had so many new products. When I graduated, minimalism was most fashionable. We did the opposite. The material is rough, the way it's made is much more simple. And if you think back in history, when industrialization came, suddenly it was possible to make thousands or millions identical products. But of course, if everything becomes perfect, people like to have something which is imperfect. If you look at the process in terms of the scrap wood, we almost throw nothing away. One of the products, uh, the most successful one, was a table we made. It took weeks. And this became one of our most successful products because it's the opposite of the normal process in industry. You know, you have the raw material, you make something and you throw away the rest. And we make something with even more attention for the leftovers and then we have leftovers and we put even more attention in those leftovers. It's a journey and a game at the same time. It took years to be here and maybe I don't know where it ends.